everyone, so today we're going to be doing April BoxyCharm unboxing. If you don't know what uh, BoxyCharm is, it's four to five full size products and it retails for $21 a month and it's always over $100 value, which is super amazing. So if you have not signed up yet, I will leave a link down below so you can check it out if you want to get your own BoxyCharm. This video is going up really late because we just moved out a few days ago, so I apologize for that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much. Alright, so I already have my eyeshadow on because I want to try on the other products that I got in the box and I just wanted to get a head start. So to get started, here is this month's theme. It is called Boho Glow. And as always, it has all the products, descriptions, and prices on the back. So it always has this little card in there to tell you just exactly how much you're getting. And it's always fucking bonus value. So the first thing I see in my box is this little sponge trio by Pure Cosmetics. And it says, the Blend Squad 3-Piece Contour Blending Sponges. They retail for $36. Ooh, it's expensive. So I have three latex-free and non-allergenic blending sponges. Can be used damp or dry. It's washable, reusable, and odor-free. So, I'm gonna take one out. All right, so here's what it looks like dry. And I'm going to go wet it and compare it to another dry one, a wet one, a dry one, you know. And then I'm going to apply my foundation with it so you can see how it works. Right now they feel soft, but not, not as soft as some sponges, you know. Right, so here's the sponge wet. And as you can see, it grew quite a bit and it feels really nice and squishy. So I'm just going to apply my Estee Lauder Double Wear with this and see how much product it soaks up, how it blends everything out. Just to let you know. And I already have my face moisturized and primed as well. Just so you know. Right, so this is what my foundation looks blended in. I definitely think that it did a good job. I feel like it's really big in my hands, so it feels a little awkward. But I do like this flat side. So just get in there. And this is how dirty the sponge got after one use, which I think is uh, really dirty. <laughs> so this is what my Real Technique sponge looks like. And I, uh, this one's really dirty as well, but I've been using it for like a hot minute. So the fact that this one got so dirty after one use makes me feel like it soaked up a lot of product. But I'm gonna wash it and see how well it gets clean. And I'll let you know. But I'm not gonna do it right now. Overall, I do really like it. I think it blends well. It's very squishy. Um, I'm glad I got it in my box because it's three. Three. You know. Who doesn't need sponges? I always need a new sponge because they get dirty. So the next product we have is this Measurable Difference Concealer Collection. I like the packaging. It's 16 shades that range from really light to dark. And this says that it features 16 versatile shades. This makeup set works for any skin tone. The creamy blendable formula melts perfectly to the skin, making it making any blemish or skin flaw disappear. It retails for $19.99. So I think this is really awesome that they included this because I do have a freelance makeup kit. So I'd love to put that in there if I do like it. Um, but for personal use, I don't see where somebody would need 16 shades of concealer, to be honest. But for those of y'all, like me, who love to do makeup on other people, it's a really great deal to get in a box. It's is the price of the whole box, you know what I'm saying? You got 16 concealers. So I'm gonna try this out, and I am gonna use my spatula just to do the product out, because if I do put this in my kit, I want it to remain sanitary. And me putting my little hands and brushes in there, it's gross for other people. So this is the shade Vanilla. I think it'd be really good for um, highlighting. And the bottom shade is called Milk Chocolate. I think it'd be really good for me personally to contour it. So we're gonna try these out with our new sponges to see how it goes. So I'm gonna apply the concealer with my fingers first. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you in because from a distance it looks good, but... You see that? It's 
like so red there um it's not really covering anything i feel like it's just wiping off so huh. i do have some texture on my face right there which could be part of it but you don't know and i'm just using my fingers so it can heat up the product so it can blend out easier from the warmth Yeah, I'm not really loving the way it's setting on my skin. I have really dry skin, and I feel like that's part of the problem. And I do moisturize and prime and everything, and I just feel like it's not setting right at all. Like, it doesn't look terrible, but I'm going to look at it and be like, oh, yeah, I want that. You know what I'm saying? So we are going to try to contour with this milk chocolate shade. And I don't have any texture where I contour, really. So maybe this part will go better. We shall see. I do feel like you can only use this a few times because of the size of the pans. But it's okay. If y'all have seen one of my other videos, you know I don't really like cream contour that much, but I only tried the Anastasia one. So... If you'd like any cream contour products, holla at me because I do have dry skin, like I said, so I think they'd be really good for my skin. Honestly, it's not really my cup of tea. I'm not going to include this into my daily makeup routine or anything like that, but I am going to throw it on my kit to see how it works on different people. Like, I have dry skin. I feel like it would like work better on somebody with like a normal oily skin type and that it would blend in easier. I don't know. I'm gonna try it on some other people though. Uh, for my skin, I'm not really liking the way that it's setting. I don't think it blended. It blended fine, but it took a while, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I think about that. I think it's a good deal. $20, 20, 16 concealers. But it's just not working for me. Alright, so I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup off camera except for my highlight and lips because we have some very exciting products. Listen, this is the most exciting product I've ever gotten in the box. When I saw this in the sneak peeks, I was like, thank you! Thank you. Thank you. I present to you Ofra Rodeo Drive. I've always wanted this highlighter, but it retails for about $35, and I just was not willing to spend that on one highlighter, but now I have it in my $21 a month subscription box, and I am so excited to try it out with you today. I got this box like a week ago, and it was in there, but I've been in the process of moving, that's why this video is going up so late, so I haven't even like swatched it or anything because I was trying to save it for you guys. So I'm really excited. That's what it looks like in the pan. I'm gonna swatch it. Uh, still have concealer in my hand, so please ignore that. Here's what it looks like swatched on my finger. As you can see, it's very pigmented. I'm gonna apply this all over my face, and we're gonna see if it lives up to what the people say. Yeah, the people. I don't know if you can see it, but it's living up. It is living up. Wow. This is so beautiful. Can you see it? What? I'm fucking glowing. Mm. Good job, Ofra. Good job, BoxyCharm. Good job. I was scared that it was going to be like too dark on my skin. Because I am pale and I usually go for like a wider highlight. This is beautiful and I am obsessed. I love it. This is the best box ever. Just for this one product. That's all I care about. I'm just gonna highlight my little inner corner. Ooh, 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 ooh. We glowing. We are glowing. We are glowing. Look at that eye. Is that glow? Huh. Ooh. Huh. Aha! We are glowing. I mean, 
mean in do you get boxycharm because if you don't you should we could be glowing together right now all right needless to say my review on this is thumbs up if you don't have boxycharm you should go buy it i love it it's beautiful and it's a great highlighter and i can't wait to play with it even more i think it's really pretty and golden and blinding and everything that I could ever want. So the next product we have is this Cargo Lip Gloss. It's in the shade Taos, Taos, T-A-O-S. And this says, it is a super high shine lip gloss, delivers intense, lasting color. Creamy moisturizing formula glides over lips and never feels sticky. We will see, because I don't like me a sticky gloss. Uh-uh. And this retails for $16. Now we're gonna try her on. See how she goes. So my battery's dying. Like I said, I just moved. So I have no clue where my other batteries are and I'm freaking out. Freaking out. First note about this sculpt gloss is I don't like the applicator. It's too flexible. It's like fucking wonky. Okay, so my opinions on this so far is that it smells really good. I don't like the applicator at all. I do think it would look better with the lipstick underneath, but I just wanted to see how pigmented it was. It's kind of like uh, your lips look better kind of thing right now, but I do have foundation on stuff on my lips, so it kind of looks weird. It's not too sticky, like just a little bit. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right, so my camera died, sorry about that. But while it was dead, I put on a lipstick and then I put the lip gloss over it and I do like it. Or I don't hate it. I don't really like lip gloss that much, but I really know that it's getting spring and summery and glossy lip will be cute. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I got Maybelline's Warm Latte under it. Just like a little bronzy, shimmery shade. So I have one product left. And it is the Hair Girt Strawberry Banana Shampoo. It does smell like strawberry bananas. We did get a hair mask from the same company in the same scent a few months ago. And I really liked it. My boyfriend loves the smell. So I'm going to give it to him because I use special shampoo on my color tree hair. But this shampoo is retails for $10. And it says, wondering when your hair got a mind of its own? Try this creamy rich shampoo with yogurt retain. Pre-bio prebiotics, quinoa, six botanical oils, and biokeratin to help tame frizzy and dry hair. Free of sulfates, parabens, harsh salts, harmful colors, and harmful fragrances. So it does sound like a really awesome shampoo to try out. Um, I might give it a shot. It just kind of depends. I don't want to like, I don't know if it's color free or not because it doesn't really say so. Right? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it. So it says it helps tame and really frizzy dry hair and makes friends with your hair again. It says it's best used after, it's best to use the yogurt mask after that we got a few months ago, which of course I'm out of now because it was like the same size bottle and I have a lot of hair. So I had to use a lot. So I'm going to try this out, but the only issue is that it doesn't say anything about being color safe and I really don't want my color to wash down the drain because I just got it done. So yeah, um, I am excited to get this though because my boyfriend always likes to use my expensive shampoo and now he can get use his own little pricey shampoo. So yeah, that's it for this box. Um, so just to recap, we got the Measurable Difference Concealer Palette, the Cargo Lip Gloss, the sh Hair Grip Shampoo, we got the Pure Cosmetics Blending Contour Trio Sponges. And we got the Rodeo Drive Highlighter. I'm just gonna add it all up and see how much this box was worth. So this box retails for $116.99, which is really awesome because it's only $21 a month and we got a lot of great products. The Rodeo Drive Highlighter was definitely my favorite. Let me know if you got your box down below and let me know what your favorite was. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tell me what you wanna see next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.